Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video we're going to continue on with our billing materials and this is our fourth video in our series in regard to uh, inserting an exploded assembly into a drawing uh, with the billing materials and balloons. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, make some modifications to our billing, billing materials in this video. So, let's do this. Let's take a look at our bill of materials and let's talk about the description uh, element. I was talking about in a previous film how it uh, picks up the description of the part itself. But there is kind of a hierarchy here. It's going to uh, initially look at the configuration level for a part description. If it doesn't see it there, then it's going to borrow the description from, um, from the, on the part level rather than the configuration level. So let's, let's look at this last uh, part down here. It's called the Dirt Scraper Bolt Plate. And it's uh, got a description of dirt, scraper, scapper, scraper pad. We're going to go ahead and change that. And I believe it's going to be this part over here. We can right click in the part over here and tell it to open, if you like. Or, you can also go to the build materials too. And right click on that and go to open that part. So let's go ahead and do that. And remember the usual way of doing this. If we go to file, save as, we can uh, put the description in there. And, oop, dirt scraper part or the dirt scraper pad, that'll change that, so we can go to save, and guess we want to save it. But there's other ways of uh, finding out uh, or uh, applying a description to your part or configuration. Uh, one way to get to the, the configuration name, if you were right to click on that and go to properties, it does show you the description down here. So if you had filled in something other than default for the description here, it would actually pick up that value and put that into the bill of materials. Because it isn't there, it's going to go to the part level and assign the description there. Uh, so how do you get to these to description? There's one way to do that. If you go to File, go down to Properties. Uh, you can go to Custom Properties, where we have a description that, uh, that's part of the description when we when we save our file, we can uh, fill in that description element here. Or we can go to configuration specific and do that here. So if we were to change the description here and type in a value here, we could do that too. And just for the sake of a demonstration, we'll call this uh, dirt scraper uh, pad 2. Just so we can differentiate it from the other one. And then go to OK. And we're going to go ahead and save it. Close it. And yes, we want to update it. And yes. So now it took the description from the configuration instead of the part now, and it put it in there. If we were to double click inside of this, we can keep that link, change that back to the dirt scraper pad. Uh, maybe we could do that a dash to just to uh, be a little bit more descriptive. So now we have three descriptions out there. And let's see what happens to our part. Let's go up to our part and open it up, right click, go to open part, and let's go back to our file, go to properties, and see where our descriptions are. So our custom description, dirt uh, scraper pad, it didn't change your configuration specific one, now it did. So there's that parametric link. Whatever change we make in the bill of materials will also make that change on the part level. And that's something to keep in mind too, when you have assemblies open, you open up an assembly, in the background it opens up all those parts. When you open up a drawing, like this drawing here, with all the parts associated with the, sub or with the assembly that's in that drawing, it also opens up those parts in the background too. So you do have the ability to make these changes here, and it goes down to the part level, whether that part is actually open to the point where you can actually make uh, changes to it, modifications to it. Uh, the part is still open enough that it will make those changes to that part in the background. So we're going to go to OK here, close that out, say so yes to that, and I'm going to start filling in some of the information uh, with, uh, you know, I believe our description is probably OK for now, but let's uh, take a look at the part numbers here real quick and make some changes to that. So in regard to the uh, dirt scraper pad 2, we could also change uh, the part uh, numbers to that. So instead of dirt scraper bolt plate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a numbering scheme that I started up here with a 0175 for a general category, and maybe a more specific category of a, of a part number uh, beyond that. I'm going to go ahead and keep that link here, and I'm going to erase what's in here. And uh, the reason I'm doing this on the bill of materials level is I could see what some of the other part numbers are if I'm at a point right now where I can go ahead and make make assignments 
to these uh, part numbers here. I can see what the other ones are called, so uh, I can uh, uh, make similar part numbers at the same time by looking at what, el what else is already in there. Okay, so I, I created a new part number for that. Let's go back to the dirt scraper pad and open that guy up. And let's go back to the configuration. Go to the configurations and go to the properties and configurations. And uh, we already know what our custom properties are. It brings up that very same uh, window that we had before. But there's an area down here in our configuration manager which allows us to assign part numbers to that configuration, to that part. So remember the number I just typed in, 0175 and then dash 0078 or 7894. Now that appears here. If I wanted to change that maybe to uh, 0790 or 78900, I could do that. Get a green check mark. I don't necessarily have to save it because it says stores in the memory, but yes, I want to update the bill of materials. And if I look at the bill of materials, it's going to make that update over here. So there's some options in regard to uh, your bill of materials and uh, making modifications to it. When we start the next film, I'll have uh, some more of these elements filled in for you. And then we'll talk about uh, making some additional modifications to our bill of materials.